Dear Dr. Jackie, you know I love you, good sister, but they are wearing you low. They are getting you, sister. Y'all don't know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. What is going on, you all? Dear Dr. Jackie, I, ooh, it's been a minute since I've done a dear video, but this one was absolutely necessary. Dr. Jackie on Married to Madison recently did a video conference talking to the Vice President Kamala Harris and they talked about black women and black women in pregnancy and the mortality when it comes to black women going to the hospital and you know unfortunately dealing with things, medical racism and things and, and lose their lives um, while giving birth. I thought the conversation was good. Dr. Jackie is a physician. She is a OBGYN. She is the OBGYN for a lot of, you know, celebrities in Atlanta. Like people love her. And I enjoy Dr. Jackie too. I think she's a beautiful, very talented woman. But there are times I'm like, Dr. Jackie, this ain't it. And I think the first time for me was the conversation she had with Buffy. When she talked about Buffy's fertility issue publicly without letting Buffy know and just bringing it into the forefront, like in front of all those people, it was just a lot. It was a lot. And her apology to Buffy just didn't seem like she was compassionate or she felt empathy for what she had done. It was kind of like, girl, I said what I said. And unfortunately, Dr. Jackie is in some mess right now um, during this whole Kamala Harris video because it's been posted recently and the episode just aired this past Sunday on Married to Madison and now an old video of Dr. Jackie talking to Dr. Heavenly is making his rounds back online. I think this was around the time of the pandemic and Dr. Jackie said some very troubling things and here's what she said. Sometimes as African-American women, we're a bit more dramatic and that you go to the doctor and you complain and you complain and you complain and you're not taken serious because you cried wolf the entire pregnancy. That ain't me, boo. I don't know what you're talking about, but go ahead. I didn't say you. I just said as, as African-American women, we want to also make sure you're being serious with your doctor and not playing the game so I can take you off work. Because then we see you 25 times in the pregnancy. It's hard to believe that there's a true problem when there's a true problem. The last three seconds of what Dr. Jackie said in this video is one of the leading causes of why black women are not coming out of these hospitals alive. This is the main reason. And Dr. Jackie, unfortunately, is falling into that. She is falling into, unfortunately, medical racism. And just because Dr. Jackie is a black person, she is a black woman, does not mean that she is immune to internalized racism, even internalized massage noir. And we have seen some of Dr. Jackie's massage noir come out on Married to Medicine a couple of times in conversations and stuff where she talks about um, black women and them needing to be healthy and them needed to eat right. Even the fat phobic comments she made about heavenly and all that. She is, she is a doctor. This is why conversations about anti-fatness are so necessary because you will take these things and you will apply it in your work practices. And in Dr. Jackie's case, she is a physician. She is an OBGYN which means that her thoughts around fatness determine how she treats her patient. So if we see that Dr. Jackie unfortunately has a history of fat phobia, how do you think she's engaging with her patients who are black women who are fat? Do you think she's more likely to listen to them? She might not take their issues serious that they're bringing up because she is seeing them as fat, meaning that this is the problem causing this and they don't take extra care and, and look and make sure it's not that because the anti-fatness jumps completely out. There have been a lot of fat people who have shared their stories of going to the doctor and explaining their pain or whatever medical thing that they were experiencing and the doctors misdiagnosed them because 
they do not think about anything else other than them being fat. Like this is you being fat. This is the leading cause. And you treat these people like their numbers. And it's unfortunate because the way our healthcare system is set up and the way insurance and how, you know, it is all for profit. The doctors get put into this, unfortunately. So it's a, it's a lot of blame to go around. I'm just not dragging Dr. Jackie, but I'm adding context to this conversation so we can understand that there's a whole bunch of things that need to be fixed in order for us to truly care about black female mortality rates when it comes to giving birth. Like we have to address so many things. We can't just do TikTok lives with the VP every other week. We can't just have influencers talking to the VP. We actually have to move towards legislation and also pushing for healthcare for all. Period. Like that is one of the things that will eradicate a lot of this. Healthcare for all, no matter what. It's it's a shame that access to healthcare is determining how you work. Like that is that is a travesty in itself. So Dr. Jackie, you know, unfortunately, you know, how she sees this determines like how she moves and how she treats her patients. And her just saying that black women are a little bit dramatic is coming from a very elitist classes. Uh, understanding of black folks like black people do not complain any more than any other group of people black folks should be the ones that are complaining more because they hit the end of the stick we just saw the news and the reports on Navy Federal denying black folks black families mortgages even though they made more money than their white counterparts you have black folks who were making hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year combined that were getting denied for mortgages versus a white family that was making seventy thousand dollars were getting approved anti-blackness plays a part this is why we keep talking about systematic stuff we can't just keep thinking Oh, you know, these things have moved us. That's 50 years ago. That stuff still plays a role. And even black folks in positions of power and authority can continue on the same anti-blackness that hinders black folks from growing, i.e. some of the folks that we be standing for, like our politicians. We cannot keep continuing thinking just because we share an identity or we in a sorority together or we went to the same HBCU that our ideals are the same. Unfortunately, when you get in positions that Kamala Harris is in, where they have to appeal to a specific demographic in order to get support. We are talking about a system that was built always against us. So having a black VP in the White House is cute, but what is it doing overall for black women, everyday black women, not the black women who are wearing their letters and their colors and stuff to the to the football games and all the other stuff in the sororities. And it's no it's no shade because I live for the black women who do find camaraderie and all of these things in these systems and stuff like supporting each other. But I'm also looking at other black women who did not graduate from college, who are not making this income, who are, you know, struggling to survive. These are the black women that are going into these hospitals and these emergency rooms and are getting lack of care. We're having hospitals shut down in big ci black cities across the U.S. Atlanta just closed one, is getting ready to close one of its biggest hospitals in the city. So who do you think is going to these hospitals? There are black folks. Black folks are going to these emergency rooms because they do not have the same access to care like their white counterparts. They do not have health insurance. So we can't keep doing these cute videos and discussions and bringing it to the forefront if we're not moving in ways to support and protect black women. Now, I am glad to see Dr. Jackie get her due. And I, I think she's probably a good physician. I don't know, I've never visited her but apparently she's doing well. But also, this is a blind spot for Dr. Jackie. And Dr. Jackie, love you down, sister. You need to address this. This is getting a lot of attention online. It might not seem like it's much, but it really goes and hurts your visibility, your image, and it kind of takes the wind 
out of yourselves if you're saying that you care about black women and all this when we're looking at it and it's like girl do you care about black women or are you just saying this are you being a good example with your raggedy broke ass i think this is the issue that i have when it comes to getting notoriety and accolades or whatever because you are talking to kamala harris is the work matching what you are saying and if we're looking and we're seeing instances of you saying the things that are hurting black women what does it mean if, if kamala harris is bringing you on and talking about it honestly and it it's no shade and take this how you want to kamala harris is bringing you on for pr like the democrats numbers are all the way down when it comes to younger voters and they know that you have good pr um, and you know, like younger folks, black women love you. They love what you do on, on Merit to Medicine. And Kamala's teams, they know this. They know this. They reach out. They've been doing a lot of it lately because we get close to the election. Like we less than a year away. And they are doing these things to appeal and, and um, have folks like look at them in a specific type of way. And then now with the eyes on you, Dr. Jacket, we're looking and then I'm happy that you're having a conversation i'm hoping something comes from it i'm not sure if something will but under it i'm seeing folks call you out and say that you were saying something completely different you were adding to the cause that you are not speaking on now as a person who has been called out on some of the ignorant things i have said throughout my career i still have to acknowledge that and speak on where i stand at when that is brought up. So yes, it happened three years ago. You might have changed or whatever, but the harm was still done when you did that video and the harm is coming back in 2023 as black women who are going to OBGYNs and having these experiences and some black women who do not feel comfortable going to one because they don't want to deal with this. So you have to now address it. Yes, it's three years old, but we don't know where you stand at with this. Yes, you did a video with Kamala Harris talking about this, but where is your politic meeting your praxis? That's what I'm concerned about because I'm not interested in these 42s and all this other stuff that we doing and we getting out. I'm not interested. In How are you applying these thoughts to every day? If you are sitting on a live stream and you're having a conversation and you casually letting this out, that means that the practice that you are saying out loud isn't being practiced. That means that you are not doing that. It's giving performance. And considering all the stuff that's going on with Mary to Madison, y'all getting whacked left and right right now. Um, y'all getting whacked left to right right now. And y'all need to do some damage control. Not even just to clean y'all image up, but to just earn the respect of black women who are watching this, this show and love the work that you're doing they're being turned off and i have to agree with them now i know uh, i'm in women's quote unquote business but that's a whole nother story because it's not necessarily women's business uh because this stuff works against us all medical racism works against all black folks so this is something that is like very necessary to talk about and it is a blind spot unfortunately for dr jackie and dr jackie should take this time dr jack you gotta take this time and 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 own up to what you said now girl you not the best when it comes to apologize stuff so don't come in here talking down to folks because the girls are already saying that you give elitist classes and vibes and no shade you do no shade you do and what gets me is the way y'all be speaking about black folks, like even if a black woman is quote unquote lying to have time off, okay, what is the harm of that? Your job is to diagnose, treat. Your job is not to be trying to see if they're lying. That's not your job. Like that's not, especially when it comes to pain, everybody is experiencing pain differently. There's no way for us to be able to tell if a person is truly in pain. We don't have that type of technology. So that means if a person's saying they're in pain, you need to take care of them. Now we can get into other things when we talk about opioids and all the other stuff, because I know that's a thing too. But 
when black women are telling folks over and over again that these are the things they're experiencing and y'all are not taking them lightly because y'all think that they lie, first of all, y'all think black folks lie, period. And then y'all think black women lie even more. Y'all look down on black women. Y'all look at, y'all look down on black women who make less than. If black women don't present themselves in a certain type of way, y'all automatically look down. I see it all the time. I see it all the time. Like, it's like if you don't care about all black women, if your care is different for a black woman who is making $200,000 a year and has quote unquote good insurance versus a black woman who does not have insurance and is making um, $40,000, $50,000 a year, then you don't need to be a doctor. You don't need to be a doctor. Like if you're gonna treat a black woman differently because she is quote unquote plus size, you don't need to be a doctor. If, if that stuff, it is, it is affecting your level of compassion and how you treat your patients. And that's something that you need to be checking. And I just wanna say this, I don't think that Dr. Jackie is a bad person. I think she is a human capable of doing harm like any of us, period. But I think that you, Dr. Jackie, should be taking this conversation seriously and applying it to yourself because, you know, the folks are being honest and I can't tell you how many times I've seen black women share their stories of going to the doctor. Like there was a TikTok trend that was going viral a year or so ago where nurses were sharing their aches of their patients and the way they talked about their patients, you can tell that it was some black women. And some of these, you know, nurses were taking care of black women who came out and said, I remember you because I was in pain and I experienced this or I lost this because of it. Like, we got to have a conversation. We got to be honest. If we care about black women, we can't sit over here and play around with it. If we care, we got to show up 24 seven and be down for it. We can't be out here, you know, projecting like we care. And then we see you on just a regular like conversation talking about some black women are overly dramatic. Like, what does that even mean? That is anti-black by itself. Let's textbook definition of anti-blackness. That's all my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm very curious of what black women and people have to say about this. Let me know in the comments and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.